Christ. Oh, oh, wonderful. And I have a son and a daughter. Oh, that's what you have. Oh, yeah, a boy and uh, a girl. All right, let me get started here. This is April 6th? Mm -hmm. April, yeah, I think. April sixth. I think it is. Two thousand six. Uh, do, do me a favor. April Get me 7th. above here. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> April eighth. Please, I don't want my belly. It's April eighth, isn't it? Oh, April eighth. Okay. That's what my watch says. I okay. could be wrong. All right. Oh, okay. oh my much. Well, we're here with Josh Ploner. We're Hello. doing this, the family. I didn't uh, do my hair though. The Ploner. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, the, the Ploner family oh, history Oh, Michael thing. would meet you. He'd love him. Yeah. He, he, oh, your son. Yeah. yeah. And just so we identify See, everybody. And the daughter, she, she has a job down in Tampa. She's been down there for a few years. Josh, identify yourself. Your I'm, father and your grandfather. My father is Arthur Ploner, and his father is David Ploner, and he is the second in the children that of Harry and Bess. Okay. I love that. You're and, a I'm Michael Schwartz. I'm kind of doing the interview here. My father was, uh, my father was Max Schwartz. My mother was Judy Ploner Schwartz. And my grandfather was Al Ploner. Oh, Al Ploner. And, so and Rose. The way we're all related I think that here also Rose is in is there. That Harry and Bessie were our, Graham. our, grand, our right grandparents. Right. And your grandparents. Right. That's right. All right, and we're here interviewing. You're the star. The last of the. No, uh, oh, oh, we are above here. Okay. <laughs> I'm zoomed in, so you can't really. Oh, see. yeah. Oh, please do. Okay. Your earrings are pretty. Uh, oh, thank you. Here, <laughs> thank I'll show you. you just to make sure. You okay there? Yeah, I mean, okay. fix up here. <laughs> okay. You look good. All right, we're good here. All right. Your smile is so, what's beautiful. So here's what we're going to talk about a little bit. Let me get in where we can Go ahead. Let me get out of um, hear my voice. Were you here long? How long have you been there? Huh? How long have you been here? Here? Yeah. How long have you been sitting here waiting, waiting. for me? Oh, oh, 10 minutes. Oh, no I'm glad she, right, first you of met all, Judy. <laughs> introduce yourself. Your name? I'm Frida Solomon. Any middle name? No. No kids. None of us. Okay. And your maiden name? My maiden name was Strauss. Strauss, okay. And your date of birth? May 17th, 1925. And where were you born? In the uh, basement. Where? Over on 5th and French. Do you know the exact address? Mm, no. Um, it used to be a tailor shop. We lived in and then there. We had it. My father was a paper hanger. My father was a paper hanger. Okay. Um, what were the names of your mother's parents? Uh, Harry and Bessie. Last name? A plumber. Okay. Now, wait a minute. The Pliners, uh, P-L-I-N-E-R, up and sometimes you see him fully. Yes. My mother said that we were related. We are. Yeah, Josh, Josh found out that when we, we came over Pliners. that the name was originally Pliner and it was changed to Ploner when we moved to Delaware. Uh -huh. Well, my mother said that the Pliners are related to Philadelphia. There's yeah. Pliners in Philadelphia. Did we know that? We don't know. No, I, don't know I don't know them per se. Yeah. But I looked them up and I, I couldn't. I couldn't quite, I've heard that too. They're actually from the village we came from, and I'm going to ask you what you think what village we came from. This is your interview. But um, yes, we are, you are correct. You know, if you want to see here, there's no. a document, Abe's naturalization papers, no show kidding. that he came into Canada as a pliner. Let me get that, but keep on talking. Um, um, okay, um, so where and when were they born, and, and where did they live? And we have some information on this. Who? We're talking about Harry and Bessie. Oh, uh, Bessie, uh, she lived at 3rd and Jefferson. Okay, but where, do you know where she was born, when she was born? Oh, Russia. Oh, in Russia? And so was Harry. Any idea where? He, uh, her sister was, now, um, Bessie's sister. sister was, uh, uh, Rose Ploner. Oh, she was a doll, you know. Uh, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, she knew him well, and she lived up there, too. Rose Ploner was her sister? Yeah. No, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my mother, grandmother, sister. Okay. Your grandmother's sister, you're, we're talking about your grandmother is Bessie. Yeah. Okay, so she had a sister, Rose. Yeah. But her last name couldn't have been Ploner because that was... No, she was, um, uh, oh, God. I'm I'm not good with the memories I used to be. Um, let me think. Uh, you, uh, I called Tanta. I didn't know Tanta Rose. Yeah. In the house in 1910. 
Okay. Her maiden name? Yeah. Lubin, right? I think it was, yeah. Okay. And she was a doll. Josh has done a lot of uh, research. Yeah, I see. He's got a lot of stuff here. He's got, yeah, sure, go ahead. Here's um, Abe's naturalization papers. Yeah, I can't believe it. See, but it says Abraham Pliner in Montreal, Canada. Yeah. And then here he becomes Abraham Ploner. I see. It was a Pliner was a real name. Yeah, Pliner was our real name. Yeah. I'm a Pliner. Yeah. <laughs> and um, also I have their ship manifest. Yeah. Sarah C oh, keep on going. I don't know. What do you want to do now? I know. Keep going. Did, did, you, did your mother ever tell you about um, how they came over? Yeah. Can you tell me that story? Oh, sure. Um, her father, I mean mother, and her, and and um, her, uh, your father, I think Dave. Um, your father... Grandfather. Well, wait a minute. Your father, your grandfather... Grandfather. I mean, the mom, well, she was uh, your, my mother. Right. She, they, my cousin, uh, uh, cousin, uh, your uh, father, Al Ploner, he was younger. She was 13. Mm -hmm. And she, he got, so she had to stay in Canada with him for a while. See? I see. And then they, they got him home and, um, there from there on, she married Bill and Rose. <laughs> Why don't we tell you a little bit about what we know yeah. so far? Okay, so, well, you, can, uh, you can fill in. Here. Okay. Josh, you are probably more on this. Sit nearer? Yeah. Right. Sit me. Sit there. I'll, You're cute. I'll, Come on. I'll you. But speak oh. up because her microphone's right. on her. Okay, get over how you look like right. your father oh, thank you. and him. People <laughs> say that. I have pictures of him. They say that. Oh, yeah. Um, what I do know is um, according to the, the the information I've been able to find, do you know what our great what your grandparents' um, names were in Russia? No, because I found out I think his name was Moisha. Oh uh, well, Mom said they were very wealthy and when they were to Russia, but they got out because Grandpa was going to be called to the uh, f war f uh, war. World War One, yeah. So uh, I heard that too. Yeah. And um, Japanese Russian War, actually. Yeah. So um, oh, Sino Soviet War. Yes. Um, well. So that was that. They got them, and then they came over. And my mother and father married. My father mother was sixteen years old when he got married. Somebody got mauled by a tiger in Russia or something. Somebody got mauled by a tiger or a lion or something. That I never heard. All right, Josh. What else do you know? So that's true because they did come over when when your mother came over, yeah. um, and she came and and our grandma's name was Bashua, yeah, and became Bessie. Bessie. Um, they came over as uh, as second class and second class, yeah. which was higher than steerage. So yeah. they had some money. He had that, he had, they had some yeah. money. He says it was a butcher, and then the, the um, when he was there, it was a butcher. My mother said right. On his entrance documents, it said he went to see a sister-in-law in New York first. Who a brother-in-law. Harry. Do you know about that? No. Do you know anything about that? He, I don't know if any sister up there. All right. But you know about, but you do know when they first lived here, Rose Lubin lived with the family. Oh, yeah. So do you know what happened to Rose? You were talking about her earlier. No. Bessie's sister. Oh, she died. Well, she uh, had an accident one t while well, she was with when I was good, uh, and a bottle exploded in her eye. They had the caps that right. do, uh, it was different in those days, had cork, and one went in her eye. And she it was she was sound blind of that up. So um, she she lived, I don't know when, I can't think when. It must have been. Forty-one, something like that. Graham, uh, Bessie, Dan, Bessie did. I used to call Santa. And Josh uh, knows the village that Harry and Bessie came from. Yeah. Did they ever talk about the name of the village? No, no. It was Rezekny. It was in Rezekny, and it's in modern-day Latvia. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's why my father always called my mother Lifak. 
Mm -hmm. She, you know, because <laughs> she came from there. Absolutely. He, right. And she, he's a girl that lives back. That's that's what. A, yeah, that's a lot of you. So that is true. Mm -hmm. That's good. And what else do we know? Um, do you? So you know that that Al got sick. Do you know yeah. what he got sick with? Do uh, I don't know. My mother didn't know herself. It was okay. something with uh, that, but he couldn't go out into the states. They saved the kind of. He, Josh heard that it was. They stayed in England, Manchester, England for a while. Yeah, they went there. First. Right. Yeah. Because they did not make it. I have a ship um, that shows them coming over, and they mm. stop. They were supposed to come to New York, and they were stopped. They went to Canada. Right. And then they then they went from Manchester to Canada. No. And then they came in, which is what the paper show. And you heard show. pink eye? Is that? Yeah, I heard it was pink eye. You know, where like your eye gets bloodshot. I know what a pink eye is. But you they didn't have anybody. antibiotics. Uh, no, then. no. My mother said it was... Um, he was uh, coughing and everything. He was sick. Uh, she never told me. Well, she didn't know what she had there. Coughing though, so that was yeah. indicated it wasn't pink eye. Right. No, pink eye. No, I never heard pink okay. eye. Okay. Do you, did your mother ever talk about what it was like to grow when? Because she was oh, my mother, when she came over. Oh, my mother could told us she one thing. Um, uh, the Cossacks. She uh, we had the Cossacks come there. Cossacks, Cossacks, yeah. And. Um, and she said that uh, oh, they're bitches, bitches. they were very mean. And uh, and then they uh, a lot of went on. My mother used to ride a horse and uh, bareback, and um, they all did. See, Anne and uh, Jean were born here. Right. Correct. Did um did she live through any pogroms? Yeah, a couple of them. A couple of them were yeah. the Harry and Bessie. Yeah. They lived through some pogroms. Yes. Interesting. Okay. So they'd come in and burn the village? Is that what they would No, do? not now. That, uh, not then. But they burn them now. Right. Not now. You only no fire, you know. Uh, <clears throat> oh, you don't mind me the way I talk. You yeah. forget. That's on, that's on my stroke. <laughs> Your mother had a stroke, too. And then I realized, I first realized that we never had in our family, but it wasn't in here, so it was passed on somewhere. Because none of us had my mother until I had mine. Well, that's another thing that Josh had a question about. What? Harry, when he first came over, you would see his handwriting. It was very neat. Yeah. And then suddenly around, what date? 1920? 1926. All of a sudden, his handwriting looked like He'd had a stroke, or somehow he was sick. No, he was a, a stroke. He had a junk shop. Uh -huh. It was at the third and uh, second tattle. Second and tattle. Well, it was different those days. It was all sorts, of, but that was our second <laughs> street. Okay. And um, oh, I can tell you plenty about the uh, stuff. Tell us. I am as much as I can think right now. <laughs> you give me a chance. No problem. <laughs> we got time. Um, what else do you want to know? Um, so we had the junk shop. We were asking you. Oh, he was, Did he get injured? Right. No. He was writing. Oh, yeah. I think he might have gotten. I don't know. Got but, hurt. Huh? Did he get hurt? I don't know. I don't. We, they never told us anything. But, now uh, Harry did, but not Grandma. She never talked. It, it, all of a sudden, his writing went bad. You mm -hmm. remember why? Uh, he didn't have a stroke. No. Did he get hit? Uh, he was feeling bad for well, one time. I mean, uh, I can remember something. He was hurt somewhere. We had heard that he had gotten hit in the head with a piece of steel. By oh, an that's angry possible. Relative. And he became an epileptic. Became and then he was an epileptic the rest of his life. Never saw him. I never saw an epileptic. Uh, no. Epilepsy. You never noticed that he had any kind of... Right. Until he was older, did he seem normal? He didn't seem like oh, he had Oh, God, a yeah. Of course, when Grandma died, he um, came down our house constantly. Mm -hmm. And we loved him. So that's why... I think I have a picture of them at home. I had to get their... Uh, we got a, upstairs. We thought it was another box. I mean, a chest. 
but it was not there. So we'll get, we'll, when we get it, and I'll call you up whether okay. we can find it. Do you want me to sure. help you? <laughs> I'll help you if you need a helper to climb around and get in a box out. No, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I, um, well, I got to keep it up. I got to keep it from his family. <laughs> he goes to say, well, this, you know, because my mother-in-law told me about hers. And my father all told me about it. <laughs> They're from New York. Right. He was. Your, your. My father-in-law. So that was another question. What were your, what were the names of your father's parents? Well, I don't know. His mother died. There was a father, and then he married later on. And he, Grandpa did, uh, my father didn't like them. Um, then uh, he, he, that's why he came to the States. And uh, he never talked about his family. Really? So you didn't know? Well, oh, oh uh, no, uh, but then he says well, he... You know their last names? You must be your Oh, name. yeah, but it's a long name I found out. Um, it was Strauss, but the way that her, her his sister, wait, wait, her cousin came out of the, uh, you know, when the Hitler was there, they got out. So, it was the Strauss. Yeah. His parents' name obviously were the Strauss. Oh, it was a different name. As she told me, it was a different name of, I don't know what. When they came over. Yeah. They changed their name. So it wasn't originally Strauss? No. Okay. No. And do you know where they came from? Uh, oh, yeah. Mom came from Lafayette and Pop came from uh, Hungary, Romania. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? I'm trying to find on the Strauss side a little bit of yeah. history. Do you know what they did for a living in the old country? No. Because okay. he was a, uh, he was 18. He was two years older. What did, what did your, uh, what did your, I'm trying not the ploner side, but the other side, what did they do for a living? What was their business? Uh, I don't know. Okay. And um, so Harry. I've never talked about Valley. Okay. Harry's, Harry's business, though, was a junk dealer at 3rd and Tatton. Yeah. Okay. Um, you never we, heard it. Uh, when well, we'll get you on. I tell you, your father's, uh, your grandfather, rather. There was a feud. The, tell us about the, the feud. feud. We want to know. Here we are. This is Dave's grandson know. and well, Alice's grandson, and we want to know the truth about the feud. No, Al. Um, I don't know. I don't know what but they got. Uh, Parted. They had good company. One day, they were one time were close. Hold on, let's, let's tell together. you what we know, and maybe you can it'll drive and, your um, memory. Harry was in the junk business. Yeah. And Al and Dave were yeah. together. Yeah. And then Dave went off. I'm yeah. sorry, Al, Al went, went off, off. And he decided to start his own business. So now, that even. And, and he used the name A Ploner. Yeah. And there was a battle over the name Ploner for a junk business. Is that the story? No. What's the story? Tell me. I don't know. But it wasn't that. I think it was the wives. Oh, so there was... There was, there was oh, yeah, there was friction. There was friction. Because, uh, you know, one, one was uh, saying... You know, Tell us the truth. We <coughs> want to hear it. There's nothing you're going to insult us. Yeah, that's a, Lillian. Lillian, did you... Oh, Lillian was all right. <laughs> now tell us the truth. <laughs> what do you really think about... We know a lot of people uh, Lillian, like Lillian. She was a troublemaker from yeah. word go. Yeah. Did your father tell you? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I used to see Arthur. We were always friends. We were friends. We were kids. Yeah. One of the good. Uh, uh, but not little. She right. never allowed the kids. But I was friendly with Arthur. Um, I would see him once in a while. And, oh, he was a doll. I loved him. Tell me what my father was like growing up when he was a little boy. Oh, I don't know. But Dave, yeah. he... Um, they had no pictures much of anything. Now, I, Jean, uh, Maya Jean, right. uh, she probably took everything. She lived in their house after Grandma uh, died. And Grandpa used to come down. He says, they don't treat me right. Don't. They, he was unhappy, very happy with her when she stayed out. See, that was her second marriage to live in. George. And Georgie. We're gonna to have to interview George. Georgie wasn't. That's the next one. Wait, wait. Georgie is was not the real chair. Um, uh, no, his his word Rose. Um, oh, what the hell's his name? <laughs> um, we have. It. We I have. Why? Well, I can't think of it. Uh, 
talking about George. He was. The, the, well, see, he no, now. It wasn't. It was. Uh, Levin. He was uh, St uh, Sandler or not Sandler. Um, it began with an S, I think. To make you feel any better, I can't remember anybody's name either. No, but <laughs> I would never. I was. Sherman. Like, Sherman, that's it. I what told was, you it began was, the, the. Jean was married first to Sherman. And that's George's father, and then she got, he left her, they got divorced, yeah, and whatever. He, no, and then he, the second husband was Jack uh, Levin, yeah. and their son was George, and George he, is he, still alive, and that's the next guy we're going to interview. Yeah, well, he had five kids. Um, I got them all right here. So what was Sherman like? <laughs> uh, Sherman, I never saw, he was, I was a young kid, right. and he walked, I know, my mother, my mother told me he, she walked out on him. He, she, he walked out on her. So she met Jack, and uh, they lived together for, well, was it 60 years, I think, there yeah. and I. I have an interview with them. Yeah. What was their business? Who? The um, Jean and Jack. Well, they had grocery stores. Okay. And they had them in different places. Of course, they had to move out of the neighborhood. Uh, uh, that, well, yeah, that was it. It was the grocery stores. Um, because nobody had any, that those days, they didn't have a training for anything. Right. How did Ann move away? Well, Ann married, oh, he was a doctor. They were married a good many years. Um, okay. Ann was a doll. You got that too, Ann's husband's name? I should have printed it you out. You have that on the, that should no, be there. Do I have that already printed on here? No, I hadn't filled out Ann yet. Ann. Married him. Hi. Hi. How did she he, meet him? Uh, New York. She wanted up to see a cousin or something or somebody. Yeah, the movie theater there's one? cousins in New York. That's yeah. what I told you. Yeah. Oh, Who I were the know. cousins in New York? I don't know. I, I don't the, know. The Feldmans. I got them all right here. This is the Feldmans. Yeah, this they'll is... tell us who our other cousins are. Though. I know. I know all this. I told you. I talked to Harriet. Ann and Hi had two daughters. Right. Phyllis and Harriet. That's right. Georgie gave me Harriet's number in New York, and she was the one that... She, she, when I told her who I was, she went crazy. Right. She's the one that said, I want to have a family reunion right said, away. He, she said, oh, can. my God. She says, her husband said, turn down the, turn down the television. This is my cousin. Right. This is Al's grandson. Colin, <laughs> I, this is a cousin I've never talked to. I don't know. She says, tell me when you, I want to have a family reunion. Tell me when I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> she's, saying, she's saying, though, Anne went to New York and how she met High. Uh, yeah. Because there were cousins in New York. Oh. That's what I, I, I remember when. I when, think when, so. When, when yeah. um, when Harry came <coughs> in, stay with a brother-in-law right. in New York. Right. That's what his arrival papers say. Yeah. Um, so there's missing cousins all over. But Jesus, we barely oh, know our second you. cousins. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Grandpa was related to Salas's. His sister was um, the the grandmother, and she was whoa well, was wore black. You know, it was. Old days. Back. What was it? What was the name? Um, Salus. Salus. But that's Salus, isn't that from? Um, uh -oh. That's from Nice. Salus. That's that? my uh, grandpa uh, family. Salus. What the hell is Salus? Did you get mints in there? Yeah, I got the mints one on your side of the family. I've got some other ones. We'll get to that. We'll so okay. Salus is related to Harry. Oh, yeah, he related, uh, yeah. We were cousins, like. Well, of course, her his sister was married to somebody named uh, Sal. See? Was she local, or was she... Oh, oh, she was an old lady when I saw her. Um, he, he, uh, she wore a little black outfit all the time, you saw her. So uh, she was real tiny. Yeah. And, uh, he was only 5'3". Yeah, oh. Oh, Grandpa, yeah. yeah. Oh. And um, I'll tell you about Grandpa. We were very poor too. The, my father had the uh, wallpaper. He started that, and then we never had money to go to the movies. <clears throat> so we did uh, on and out of the ground. It was oh, a different time. It was yeah. all open, and uh, we would go down. He would take it from us and give us a nickel. <laughs> he go to movies. <laughs> and he he was good. Grandma wouldn't give you the sweat off her. You know what? Uh, Ellis. 
<laughs> we want to hear this. Oh, you know what that. I'm telling you, we want to hear it. This is the. See, I, that's what I get for having five brothers. I want to hear <laughs> every bit of it. What was Dave like? Oh, Dave, he was very nice. He was uh, always, he always smiles, and he was, um, uh, he, he was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Now, let me ask you about my grandmother. Now, I've heard good things, of course, about my grandmother. It was Rose, married to Al. But I also heard from Nate, who tells it like it is, yeah. that my grandmother was a little like Lillian was a little stuck up, too. Yeah, that too, as I said, they broke apart from jealousy. So really, it wasn't the brothers; it was the it was the wives. Yeah, isn't that funny? All right, look, we're going to get into your family a little bit. So here's what we got. Your name is Frida. You want anything? Oh, gotcha. Do you want something to drink? Can we get you something to drink? Would you please? What would you like? She knows. Okay. <laughs> and you have Judy. You met Judy. She's a doll. Yes, yeah, she's a sweet lady. You had three children. Uh, yeah. Bonnie. She's yeah. What she's was her boss. birthday? Um, uh, October fourth. I mean, uh, uh, wait a minute for. Yeah, I thought, uh, uh, wait, wait, oh yeah. That was Michael's October 4th. Bonnie was October, and Michael, oh, wait, the 4th was Michael, and Bonnie was the 8th of October. 10, 4, and Bonnie was what, 10, 8? Yeah. And what year? In 1952. 52 was Michael? Um, Mike, when? Michael was 52, because he's a little older than me. Bonnie was my age, I think. Yeah, I'll do, I was born in 54. I'm 52 now. Oh, he, she was born, oh, yeah, two years older than you. I mean, yeah, older than you. Oh, so she was born in 52. When was Michael born? Uh, Michael was born, let's see, we were married from 47, 48. 48. So Bonnie's 52, about 1952, and 48. And then you had Alan, who passed away. Yeah. How old is, when, do you remember what Alan's birthday oh. was? Oh, well, yeah, February 28th. 228, what year? 1951. 1951. Okay. Now, you had, um, let's see, you had, this a big family, so let me get these all straight here. Oh, we each have a brother or sister club okay. when we were all married. Uh, let's see what we got here. We've got uh, Ethel. Yeah. That was your sister? sister? Yeah. And she, you want to happen to know her birthday? Oh, yeah. Uh, May 13th. 113 year, by any chance? Uh huh? The year? Um, oh, God, I remember. If you don't remember, you don't remember. Uh, but she was. She married, Ma I'm sorry, Mac, uh, Mac Mintz. Mintz, yeah. And they had Myron, Herb, Howard, and Bob. That's uh, right. Those are all correct. Yeah. Do you know any of their children? Myron's children or Herb's children? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, Myron has uh, two. I know one ki a boy went through the um, uh, the army. Um, he he he, uh, he got a uh, he got a oh, what's the place where the army that that they wear uniform? <laughs> I can't think of. Um, boot camp? No, no, not boot camp. I mean, he was in the air. Uh, they the Marines. He went to the army. Well, wait. wait. You want me to call that? He first. Uh, no. He first uh, went to um, officers like uh, officers training. You know, the boys all come West out. Point? West Point. He went to West Point. Okay. And um, he had to go to the army afterwards. You know. No. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask probably you when you get home to give me the phone numbers. Because I've never talked to Ethel or oh, well, Vince. Yeah. They, they, we'd ask them and they'd be able to fill in. She died. Time. Okay, is Mar is Mac still alive? Nobody's alive. He alive. died at 68. So, so Myron, Irv, or Howard, or Bob, I'll have to get their number. Bob. Andrea is going to have one of their numbers, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Andrea's. Okay, so I'll have to ask Andrea. Okay, and then we had... Myron and oh, uh, Bobby, have you, Robert, have you talked about Robert? You mean Mince? Yeah. No, I haven't talked to any of them. Well, well, there's four there. Yeah. All right, now we have Jimmy and Lillian. Yeah, my sister-in-law. Okay, oh, yeah. and they had Harvey. Yeah. Who's married to Eileen. Right. And they had Shelby and Jamie. Uh, yeah. And Jimmy and Lillian also had Carol. Yeah. Ashman. Ashman is the word. And they had Jesse, Sherry, and Stephen. 
Yeah. And then uh, Jimmy and Lillian also had Ron. That's it was right. Herbie, Herbie and Maury. Yeah, that's right. All right. And then Charlie married Sylvia, and they have one son, Robert. My brother, Charlie. Yes, yeah. my brother, Charlie. And then Betty and Lou um, had Linda, who got married to Gabe Simon, and they have Jody. Jody, uh, she got married, too. Jody, okay, so Jody's married. And then we had... Is Lou still alive? Lou's still alive? No, yeah. yeah Lou's oh, yeah, there's only three of us, so we date eight and I. Yeah. How is Lou? Oh, he's all right. He looks, he's, he, he lives here, doesn't he? Does he live? Oh, no, he moved. No, he lives here, up the way. He lives up the way. Well, here, we'll go see him. <laughs> <laughs> they would love you to come over. All right. I, yeah, does, right he, how, does, he, uh, does he remember a lot of what happened? Well, he's, he's, go, he's not... Um, he knows you and everything. Yeah. He don't know you, or, right. but he, he's uh, my uh, my sister-in-law. Uh, I talked uh, talk to her practically. Uh, uh, Louis is uh, he's just lost everything he remembered, you know. Okay. And he was a uh, my brothers were all shot. Right. They were all uh, the right. lady still is lady at night. So <laughs> Lou and Betty had. Linda Simon, okay. we have Brian, who got married to Diane Fine, and right. had Sean and Michael. Yeah. And then there's Gail, mm -hmm. uh, who had two boys, Alan. Yeah. Who got married to Alan Kessler, and they had Mark. You have their other child's name. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot what her. Gail and Alan's. I didn't see those kids as much as I saw the other kids. Okay. And then there was Carl, who got married. Yeah. To, and they have Brad, Larry. Ran, all right, and then yeah. we have uh, Herman and Sylvia. Yeah. And they had Richard and Judy. Yeah. And they each had a couple kids. I don't know who their kids are. I'm going to have to talk to them. I don't know either. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to talk to a couple, somebody like Ethel. Or I'll get some phone numbers. Ethel. And then Nate. I know Nate. Ethel, don't, Nate, Ethel, you can't, but Bobby, you can. Right, I could talk to Bobby. I'll find out. Don't, don't say ask for his mother because he loved her very much. Well, I'll, I'll ask Andrea which one of the kids is still around that she has a phone number that I can call, and they'll be able to give me the information on brothers and sisters. That's what it's I mean. just like uh, my sister's boys. When Ethel died, she left everything to uh, 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 Bobby. So Lily or Berta, the boys are burnt up. Oh, they're mad at each other. Yeah. Family feuds, man. And then I think Irvie, he's in touch with Irvie. Irvie has a grandson here. He has a son and a grandchild. Oh, God, I can't believe that they have kids. I remember those. They were. <laughs> um, uh, what else? I don't know. Uh, ask me. Keep asking me. That's the only way I remember. Okay. Did, were you guys... Um all right, what did your father do for a living? We kind of know this. Was the paper hanger at first. This was your your father? Yeah. Okay. And uh, he was a paper hanger. And then as he got uh, better, you know, he got start getting money in, uh, in the 40s, late uh, 40s. And the um, late... Uh, uh, 50s, oh, they they made a lot of money. It was good. Mm -hmm. So I, I, t I got an old picture of her family, yeah. Who's that? That's my uh, Charlie and Louis, uh, and then uh, uh, Jaime. If you're going to do that, well, we should do these all kind of at the end. Okay. And she'll hold them up to the camera and tell me who they are. All right, so he was a paper hanger. This was your father. Yeah. And then he, he was, uh, you know, he, he couldn't do it. He's getting older. So the boys did it for a while. Okay. And then they, and then the boys started Red Star. Yeah. And they had also, before the war, had a Red Star down Lang City. Oh, really? Yeah. Before you go here, why did they name it Red Star? I don't know why. No, I, I don't know why. Yeah, they like the Russians. Uh, that's what my father told me, that the Strausses were communists. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they named it Red Star. Isn't that funny? Is that not true? No. <laughs> <laughs>
He said to me, he said, I think he said Isidore. Uh, Isidore, I'm not. Was a communist, and that's why he named it Red Star. <laughs> that's what my father told me. Oh, God, no. And he All was right. probably teasing. My father liked to tease. Yeah, oh. So Isidore was, was a paper hanger, and then he started the Red Star business, and yeah. then all the boys Go over went in into the business. Just the three bo the boys, Nate, Charlie, Nate, and Lou. And Lou. Um, Jaime, no, Jaime was a... Um, Mechanic, he made good living. He got did on cars, you know. Uh, he had a little. Mm. What about the minces? What business were they in? Oh yeah. Well, uh, they were a well, Mac was an accountant. So she, he came from Albany, New York. Oh okay. And um, uh, they had. Um, well, he worked as a first as a, as um they didn't pay bookkeepers then. Oh, wait, I, I got something home. Mm, what are my hairs? I guess. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, what were we talking? About? We were talking about the Mince's business. Yeah. Oh, so then he went into he could make much money. So, oh, he had started his own business. It was the um, home, um, home builder or something like that. Home yeah. Well, not homes. But, uh, it, I don't know, it was all the things. So, yeah. And uh, he, had too, he was too good hearted. Mac was a good hearted person. And he was very quiet. And um, he. He, um, he, he didn't, uh, and he was good and he let people o over him so they had to close his business. Well, when they died, when he died, they died, I forget, he's young, uh, 68. So he was, he wasn't an accountant? Yeah, he was. was. Oh, oh, oh yeah. he was an accountant, but he opened the business. CPA, he was. Oh, he was, he owned a CPA business. Yeah. Okay. What about Jimmy and Lillian? Jimmy, well, was in a business with them. Oh, well, Jimmy, uh, he was a bread salesman. A bread salesman. And uh, he worked in the bread. And then um, when the, my father needed more, and Jimmy, Jimmy uh, was, uh, he was sick, and then he, well, like, go the other, shook it. That's Michael, probably. Um, when the, he, he, um, what is this talking about? I changed it. You were talking about Jimmy and Lillian, what yeah. they did for, he was a bread salesman. It, yeah. And uh, he had a good route. No, he had a good Did he work for Strowman or one of the big bread companies? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we not there. Okay. Um, how about religion? Were you guys very religious? Did you go to synagogue? No. Go I to, wouldn't did know. Did you belong to synagogue? No, we couldn't afford them. Really? My father, don't forget, was, pray, huh? was a blue, you know, it was uh, everything. He was a depression. It was a depression on the, when I was young. Right. So we were very poor. And um, uh, they, we never had, and we, well, Michael is very, that's uh, one thing, Michael. Uh, my kids went to show, they were bar mitzvahs and, uh, Bonnie never bothered with us, as she never. Um, the the uh, but Michael's very religious. Um, we are we went to you know we we went to show younger when we were younger. Right when you were kids. Yeah. Well. What synagogue? No, no, no. We used to from the Workman Circle. That was an organization. It was no, uh, it wasn't. Uh, there was no synagogue. No, it was a room. They had a big room. And, where? Uh, you know where? Oh, um, one, one, uh, well, we, let me tell you, we used to hear when the rabbi, we had a rabbi come down from Philadelphia. We didn't have nobody here. And uh, we used to pay a quarter a week. Wow. Uh, he came down fully yet, and um, I I went for a while there, and uh, I learned it a good bit. So we I I don't know if your wife is kosher, is she? Yeah, my wife is kosher. 
She is. We have oh, a kosher house. My, As a matter of fact, you know what my wife is doing today? What? She does the whole Passover thing. She's getting all the hummus out of the house. She takes the bread over to my mother's right. house. And she does the drives me crazy. She, I'm not kosher, but we have a kosher. Yeah. She does the whole Passover thing. It's unbelievable what she does. Well, Howie's like that now. My, my nephew, Howie, yeah. his, his wife, she has two dishwashers. One for Bacha, right. one for, you know. Yeah, we have one of them, but then we have a third one for Chinese food. No, it's just kidding. <laughs> I would That's believe. An old joke. What's the third I, one I, for? It's for Chinese food. That was, I'm <laughs> glad you told But the, he, she, her, her was too. Uh, it's what she's probably doing. Did your mom ever work? Oh, in a cigar factory when she first came. At the what? Yeah. A cigar factory. Cigar factory. Where is the cigar factory? Oh, Tell it's good. Ah, it's good. Yeah, but they, they all worked in it. They were all, a bunch of the kids did. It was in the census. I should show you some of the census stuff I found. Yeah, oh. And it says they worked in a cigar factory. My mother, yeah, no, did. But after you kids were born, she did. Oh, well, they weren't married. That's where he, she met my father. Um, I think he was working. They were somewhere, and he was walking down. He saw my mother. He fell in love with her, and uh, he wanted her to marry. She. My grandmother, as I told you, they went away and got married themselves. Oh, the grandmother wouldn't let him get married? No, she didn't want him. She didn't like my father. I don't know why. She was a very mean person, let me tell you. Bessie, we're talking about. Bessie, this. yeah. <laughs> See, oh, I'll I'm tell you. I'll, <laughs> let me have? tell you. Let me tell you. Um, I used to uh, uh, work down that uh, work with, uh, that was their. Uh, I brought my sale. And the summer I would go down and work. I was, of course, I had to do it, but my mother said it's my grandma. And uh, she didn't have a toilet there. She used to use a bucket. And I had to use a bucket and empty it. I'm the one. I worked there and sold things with her. And that's, oh, God, so many memories I got the, there. Did your grandparents, did, did Harry and Bess, did they have plumbing? Indoor plumbing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they have an outhouse? No. Grandpa made wine down a cellar. Because <laughs> my, fa my father told me when they were growing up, they had an outhouse down there. Well, when he was maybe but on 32nd Street, they didn't. Okay. They had bathrooms. Before they were down on, on, on Yeah. Patton, on oh, Patton. yeah. No, no, no. That was the business. Where the business was. There. That was a business, but uh, she, uh, they had. Um, they, oh, now they had a house, nice house. Oh, it was a nice one. Uh, uh, if Jean and Jack say there, you know, look over, and um, oh no, that was a nice house. Um, did and you? And Bessie, her sister, was right across the street. Did you work? Oh, wow. Did you work? Did I work? Yeah. Yeah. Where did you work? Well, I was first in the Navy, you know that. You were what? I was a wave. Oh, you were a wave? Huh? Yeah. I, oh, how about that? And, yeah. uh... How'd you get in the Navy? Oh, I just... Well... 25, same year my father's born. Um, yeah, we were so... Well, let's see if I can get a line over there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, that was made... To me, like I remember Bonnie. Oh. <laughs> you were pretty. I don't. You still are. No, but no. But you were just prettier. Oh, you're prettier. Oh, God, yeah. And, and I had a figure. You, <laughs> like, to your family, did you pay some of the money that you got here, or did you move What out? would I pay? Oh, no. I little. Well, with I was safe in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C.? Yeah. yeah. And, and, then when you, and did you contribute household? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Um, That's when, well, my mother, let me tell you, I didn't buy a skirt till 16. Because I saved up six dollars, I went into Bronstein. <laughs> Bronstein. Yeah, and oh, that was uh, the end of Turbans clothes. You know, I couldn't afford them, but I saved up for a skirt, and I walked down with that six dollars. <laughs> you had it. Oh, I, when I worked as a kid, I worked all over dry goods. Um, Only the dry goods. Yeah. Oh, the before they had them, they don't have now. Uh, some of the stores on Market Street. I worked for Goldberg. Um, oh, and, and the French shop. And, uh, oh, everybody. I worked for... 
I worked at one to try, go to one to try. Who were some of your best friends as you were growing up? When I was growing up, uh, they had a, uh, we were sorority. And, uh, um, who are they? You mean, uh, when I was a kid? Just, you know, as you, who were your best friends as you, you know? Uh, oh, God, I can't remember the days. All my friends are dead. Would you believe it? We're, we had a club of, uh, we're six, six, seven, six couples. We played Mahjong, and uh, they played cards, Pinochle. And uh, they're all born, but us and Marion, oh, uh, Marion Rosenblatt, I did. Um, uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of girls. They're gone. I can't think of, of the names okay. here. Where did you go to school? Well, I went to Mary C. I Wins. World Hall, 20, you know, uh, 28, um, then Wilmington High. That's where okay. I graduated. How, how did you get to school? You walk? I walked from 4th and Daniel to, uh, to, to Delaware Avenue and uh, yeah. now. Chase Okay. You know where uh, the building uh, Ing, Ing is on the market? Uh, yeah. Well, that uh, up a little further was my was school. And then the, that quarter was uh, the, um, oh God, I can't, can We all used to go to our school and have Cokes. <laughs> um, pretty hard in the winter? Uh -huh. Pretty hard in the winter, that walk? Yeah, it was, I never took a bus. I could take a bus. But uh, I'd like to walk. <laughs> were there places in Wilmington that Jews weren't allowed to go? Oh, God, yeah. Oh. Westover Hills was one of them. Yeah. Uh, you know. Alpocus. Alpocus. Um, where else? Uh, oh, there's a lot of them. We were everything. Were there any restaurants that wouldn't let you in? No. Oh, no, no. Not at restaurants. Huh? Movie theaters? Oh, no. Okay. No. The only way were the living, living. Was it like buy a house? Jews were low, you know. Yeah. They were. Uh, so they couldn't buy there. And, um, uh, oh, God, what else I can tell you? Um, I'm trying to think. Ask me some more questions, if okay. you remember. Um, so, you know, when, when you were really young, there was this Jewish area yeah. Down by uh, oh, Second it's, Street. Second Street. Well, we we are we're up oh, before fourth of that old now. We're right. second. Time. What were some of the other businesses there? Oh, there was the uh, um, the uh, Irish place. There was the uh, the uh, the butchers. There was uh, three butchers, I think, and there was two delicatessens. Uh, oh, you used to get delicious stuff then. And um, I I loved the clock. Lundy's was the Lundy's one of them. Or? He wasn't there. No. He wasn't there. Was oh there. no, yeah, Lundy. Her Lundy, uh, yeah. Was, her mother and father did it. Her mother and father did it. Yeah. They started. It. And. Uh, Camille's. Oh Camille. Oh, oh no, I Camille's don't. Camille's was later. Later, yeah, because I yeah, and but um, but oh I love that and I, I go into we go into uh, the. Um, uh, one uh, bakery. Oh, there was a couple of bakers, and one I loved. It made um, it was like him. He made blechel, blechels, which are flat with onions on them. They call blechels. Hmm. Um, um, did you travel when you were young? Did you ever go anywhere? Oh, Pop took us. Uh, for uh, he took my brother and I because the others were bigger. He took uh, I, uh, see my, uh, Nate and I up to see the uh, Jewish, Jewish shows up at uh, the theater up there in New York. Uh, no, for, yeah, and we went oh quite a bit to the uh, to the Yiddish theater. Here? Oh God, yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, Molly Beacon. We saw. I can remember. She, when did your family first get a car? I don't know what that, my father had a truck. Mm -hmm. um, well, he had to have that always way there, back. He had to have because he couldn't get with his, uh, he uh, carried the board for the walking. Um, and he carried all his tools there, you know. With the paper hanger. Oh, yeah. 
did you go on family vacations? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop, well, Pop would uh, send us down to the next city for a week, and he would come down later on the weeks, on the we uh, weekends. I see. So the, he worked on the weekends. Yeah, but okay. Daddy and I went with my mother to Lake City. Okay. Um, well, you lived through the Depression, and that was really rough. Your family was very poor. I heard stories that my family... Um, you know, they, they couldn't afford meat for dinner. They would eat pancakes. That's right. And, uh, and then there was some hostility because uh, some of the other members of the brothers and sisters had a little bit more and they didn't share too much. And it's hard to understand today the, the, a little bit of difference between one family and the other. Yeah. Uh, so one's got a nice car and one doesn't. Nobody's worried yeah. about they, they're not going to have enough to feed their family. That's right. Back in the Depression days. We had, when Mom, we were small, we had vegetable days. We eat nothing but vegetables and stuff. So hard to believe. Did you guys lose any money? In, oh, well, the banks never closed yeah. in Delaware. No, we never. You didn't no. lose any money. You just didn't have any to begin with. What was, um, I, I, and this was a long time ago, but, you know, World War II, Hitler, you know? what? Uh, it's not long. I, I, it's what war I was in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how did you guys feel about that? I mean, I mean, was, oh, we, did you understand when it was happening? Oh, sure. How, how bad it was? Oh, yeah, we knew. Where did you, you were a wave. Where did you serve? In Washington, D.C. Okay, what did you do? Uh, well, I worked in this building called X Building. Nobody knew about it. Uh -huh. Disposed though. I, I did the London lease. It was a London lease. We had lent to Russia, uh -huh. to the other countries. Right. And the, the typewriter was just big. You did Paperwork, basically. Oh, the I was. Lease program. I was. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, Which was before during uh, before World War Two. Uh, our allies, before we got involved in the fighting, yeah, we lent or leased things to yeah. our allies, like boats uh, oh. and uh, other things. That was Roosevelt's famous saying. Uh, oh, if, he, if your neighbor's uh, house was on fire, well, you'd give them a hose. So you, we lent them uh, all sorts of things they needed to fight the war. Oh. Well, uh, What's the name Roosevelt? He was a doll. I'll tell you, I was in the service, and I got to see the when he got buried. We saw him. Oh, went by. How about politics in general? Uh, you guys, Democrats, Republicans? We're Democrats. And it seems like Jews were always Democrats. Why is that? Well, I know you rich Jews are... Uh, well, some of the rich Jews are Republicans, huh? That depends about money. Is that what you're saying? The more money you yeah. have... The more likely you were to be Republican. Like just the other day in paper, it was this woman. Uh, uh, her name, I just name, I couldn't. Uh, I know it too. The name. She's going to go with it. Uh, she was making a donation for the Republicans. Um. How did I mean? You never went. Did any of your brothers or sisters ever go to college? Anybody ever have any higher education? Uh. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, I uh, I did. I I got married. <laughs> I left it. Oh, you were you had gone to a little bit of college uh, and yeah. got married. Yeah. Okay, so there was no problem with women going to higher education. No, back no that's years. why we all made our kids go to um, there. Okay, was there college. anybody like a mentor? Anybody that wasn't your immediate family? Somebody that influenced you? Somebody that had a big thing in your life? Teacher, friend, parent, or friend of a parent, or anything? Oh, no, no. It's not like uh, the, the day our schools were not like, well, like Bonnie. She was uh, dyslexia, and they didn't find that out until she went to college. Oh, how about that? Um, what? Dyslexia. dyslexia. Um, how did you meet your husband, and when and where did you get engaged? <laughs> you want to rest for a second? We can no. turn this off. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Mm. I met my husband when I was 15 years old. 15? Holy moly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And I met him at a party, a party and went <coughs> at this house, this girl's house. Wait a minute. <coughs> no. And uh, uh, so I, and then he came over to me and uh, we were talking, and uh, some of the couples were playing spin the bottles and, and dance. That's what we did. That they still do. That my son does 
Spin the bottle. <laughs> so, um... I think they'd figure out it better they have the internet. So, I, forgot, I, I went home. I never thought about him anymore, and I forgot uh, about him. Then I came home one weekend. My uh, mother said, uh, uh, Seymour Solomon was there. I said, oh, hey, Seymour, I don't know. Then it dawned on me who it was. I remembered a name. Um, so he, she said that he was coming down as soon, you know, when I came home. So uh, he came and we went out. We had a great time. And from there... I was, because I was engaged three times. You were engaged three times? Had rings and everything. They all went back to the guys. I know. I was beautiful when I was again, young, younger. So why didn't you marry the other ones? <laughs> I, my husband, he was just the guy I want to see. I, went, I know the other guys. One was a, a fellow down in Washington. <laughs> they say, you know, um, but uh, the mother, I got scared a little. Uh, when he gave me, a, gave me a ring, and uh, she had a party, and she had all these commanders. She was, they had money, you know. Uh, I just, uh, all of a sudden, it scared me. I didn't, I don't know, the boy just scared me. <laughs> I don't like, I didn't like him. I don't know, I didn't. I said, so I asked my girlfriends what to do there when I was on the service. And they said, give it back to him. I gave him every back thing. He gave me stockings, kind of, well, well, you know, um, everything. So I gave him back everything. <laughs> did, you, did your parents mind if you dated? Oh, no, no. Did your father want to meet the boys first? No. Did he trust you? Oh, no. Oh, got yeah. a personal reason to ask this. He's got, no. his daughter. He's got a daughter here. No, I'm just curious. No, no, he, uh, not, n no, not, not too, no. They all came from Chester. I mean, I was always had uh, somebody, a friend. Did, did your mother ever talk about dating when she was dating your father? Did Did your grandfather mind? Was your no, grandfather? not grandpa, but grandma. Just well, didn't like him, but did she mind Sarah dating? No, well, in those days. It was different story. It was altogether different. It was a different life when I was living. Did you uh, go on a honeymoon? Yeah. Where? We went to New York, and and we got to see the shows. We saw all the shows, and uh, we were at a good place. I forgot that we were right there in the middle of it, and then uh, my brother, my mother, calls me up and says. Uh, Louis and I found out that Louis and his girl was Timur's cousin. Ran right away and got married the day I was married. Oh. And so she called me up. And she wanted me to be her, her her maid of honor. So we waited there, and we waited. We I I I was they got married on. So um. Uh. He was, uh, and then she asked me, oh yeah, she asked me to be a girl. So we all went on a honeymoon together, two couples. Louis Joe, he had a car. My husband didn't drive. He had his airplane license before he... An he airplane, had, yeah? Oh, he flew. So did my right. Alan. We're going to get, first of all, your husband's name is Cy, right? It's Seymour. Oh, Seymour. I'm sorry, Seymour. What uh, is his business? Uh, no, um... What did, what did your husband do? Oh, uh, insurance. Insurance? Yeah. Did he own his own? No, no, no. Who did he work for? My father-in-law had a shoe store. Oh, a shoe store. His yeah. father? Yeah. Okay. And what, now was that in Delaware? Oh, yeah. What was the shoe store and where was it? Shoe box. It was called a shoe box. It was over... Was it on 4th Street? No. A uh, shoe box was, um... Uh, <laughs> I a shoe store on 4th Street, a long, long, long On road. Uh, Marsh Road. Oh, on Marsh. Oh, the shoe box on Marsh Road. I think I remember that, too. Yeah. So that was your, your, um, uh, uh, your father's, no. father's Yeah, I went and to work for a while. Your husband How? worked for an insurance company. you remember what was the name of the insurance company? Sure, uh, Prudential. Prudential. How can I forget that? Where, and where, where was the office? Oh, uh, 
Well, the way out, uh, Kirkwood Highway. Oh, Kirkwood Highway. Did he okay. sell insurance? Huh? Did he sell insurance? Yeah. Okay. And, so he uh, did it for 26 and a half years, and I, he didn't like it, but we retired. He retired when he was 62. Okay, let's talk about your children. You have three children, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, their names? Uh, Michael, uh, Alan, and Bonnie. Okay, and... Um, so anyway, did your, and they were born in uh, 1948, 1950? No, 47, okay, about 48, 48, and uh, 50, yeah. uh, 1 and 52. Okay, all right. And uh, did your husband, was he in the military? Yes. Where did he serve? He was Air Corps. During uh, World War II? Two, and uh, he was, um, uh, he taught the pilots, they went in the air, how he uses the thing. Okay. I forgot what it's called. So he would know. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to stop here because we've got a one-hour videotape in here. We're going to have to switch tapes, okay? So hold on one second.